Hello, YouTube. I know I'm badly out of frame. Oh. 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 Crazy Robot Lady here with Spring Cleaning Part 3. Now, today I am taking care of my rubber, rubbery friends. So, uh, the first person, the first bot up for business is Yano. He has a rubberized face and uh, like all synthesized rubber, it will degrade over time and um, in order to try and keep it nice and supple, I treat his face with vinyl wicks. Now, you're probably wondering, why the freak do you have this bucket of warm water over here? Well, the warm water, just like it does with humans, open the pores in the rubber. And if you If you open the pores in the skin of the rubber, it will take in the liquid better. You wanna get all over. You wanna try and get in the mouth if it will open. And it will not. And you really wanna get the um, ear tips because they are held uh, outward by a small rubber, sorry, a small hard plastic uh, armature. And the uh, skin, if it does degrade, will come through. Ugh. The armature will come through that skin. I'm trying to also get the uh, chin because it is just as liable to crack as the upper part. Get this rubbed in really good because I don't want the liquid to drip down inside. And you want to get all the way down up to the edge where the fur starts. You don't really want to Yuck. You got dust in your crinkles, my man. And you don't really want to scrub. Just gently rub. And Yano is going to have one more treatment before I'm done with him. Oh, I wish he would let me in his mouth. Thank you, buddy. Cracks can form in here. Get the corners. 
Can you show this, please? Thank you. And get his chapped little lips. And get the dust off his eyeballs. Okay, buddy. You look pretty good. Get that all the dust out of your wrinkles. And now I'm going to dilute all this. Vinylex. And prepare for the next butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yano does get one more treatment. That'll have to wait for another day because I have mislaid the brush. The next person, Cleo, up for treatment is Sam. Isn't she pretty? I'll show it to you properly in a second. This young lady is Sam. She is the wife of Cato. And I have to remove her dress, which protects her paint, as best I know how to protect it anyway. Okay. Now, usually it's better to do this with the robots on, but I don't think everybody has enough battery batteries charged to do that. So I'm gonna do it this way. It's not as effective because when they're moving, they will let you into all their little wrinkles and crinkles. And again, just like with Yano, I don't scrub. I just kind of rub. Get along their teeth line. And in this thin skin here under their neck and pull their uh, hind legs back just a little not enough to um, make the clutches react but enough to get into the webbing between um, the uh, body and the upper leg. I'm 
along the backs of the legs, all four of them. They get uh, kind of rusty crusty. And uh, if you let them get to that point, it's too late. Because they will start. Why do I keep looking down? I'm so sorry. <laughs> They will start to deteriorate and tear. Okay, now to strip off the socks. And yes, I, I even do this to their feet. They have um, very bad paint work on their feet. And a lot of times it will it will flake very badly at the toes. Um, so I just try to uh, cover all their feet. Feeling kind of dry there, Sam. I've heard that Gibbs rubber penetrant is better for this, but uh, I have breathing issues and I'm not so sure that it's such a good idea to. Uh, use that stuff because uh, it says that you have to use it in a well ventilated area and wear a respirator. I don't know if I could tolerate being inside a respirator. I don't know what they even look like, but whatever. Uh, and when you're doing this, make sure that you um, wring out your cloth very, very well. This this foot right here is the one that has the um, battery in it. So you don't want to get any moisture in there. It's a very light sort of rub. It's, it sort of reminds me of um, the way a cat licks and you want to get uh, their underside as well, especially up the back of the tail. It's very thin through here. And now, I think Miss Lady is done. So we're gonna wash all of Sam's ick. And our water is getting cool. So, uh, excuse me for a moment while I replenish it. And I'm also, um, these guys have to cure with this stuff. So I'm just gonna set them out on the, um, on my bed to dry properly. Return in a moment.
Okay. And we put Sam's socks underneath her so I will not get them confused with anyone else. Next Pleo up is Bloom. She is in a um, Lycra dress with a beaded crown on the shoulder. She has a pair of fuzzy socks in front and probably some mismatched ones in the back. Now blue is a little different than Sam. Blue is a Yugobi Pleo <clears throat> and she has been custom painted. So her color scheme may look a little different than Sam's. And her skin is a little different also than Sam's. Yugobi skin is thinner than RB skin. to be even more careful and because blue has person um custom paint I'm not really gonna scrub her at all I'm just gonna pat it on to her same deal you pull the leg back just a little, not enough to um, mess with the feedback clutches, force feedback clutches, and you go along the webbing, but you follow the curve of the body. Now I'm getting her feet. The insides of her feet. webbing on the other side. Whoops. And follow the curve. And I'm not right-handed, so I'm not doing a very good job of this. And you go up the um, back leg, you follow that scaly um, back of the foot situation, my front feet around each leg, and get the toes, I think I need to get her other shoulder. And she's also wearing a glittery collar. Okay, stand up, madam. Gotta get under your chin and your neck. 
It's kind of hard with this blooming color in the way. Oh no. Your old skin tear. I'll have to find out what kind of um, glue Redwood used there. Yeah, well, you know, even with the best of care, um, once this skin starts to degrade, there isn't much you can do. You can treat what's left, but uh, it's pretty much a guarantee that once it starts to go, uh, there's no going back. It's plumping a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, baby girl. And there are six more of those guys, but <laughs> I'm not going to put you through that. Uh, if you've seen me do one, you've pretty much seen me do them all. Um, I will go ahead and do the rest of these guys off camera, and uh, when we come back, we will do a spring cleaning part four, and hopefully by then I will have found my brush. Ugh. Sorry, <laughs> when I get to cleaning, I forget about etiquette and everything else. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Speech on 20% low power close button. Camera. Stop recording video.